Last week, Jeremy tweaked his back playing cowboy on the new horse, and so we were only barely able to get, I'm just joking, it was my fault. Uh, we were barely able to get started on the drywall here in our addition build. So this week, we have got to jam on getting this place finished because we have a pretty strict deadline. So we're gonna be working long days and long nights because our texture guy is arriving pretty shortly. Pretty shortly? What is, what's Soon, that? pretty shortly. What is, <laughs> same, same. <laughs> pretty shortly. So while I was homeschooling, and I know what you're thinking, she shouldn't be educating anyone with her pretty shortly. So I promise I don't normally speak like that. I'm just tired. Jeremy came out here and he got all the different pieces cut for the short side wall. So all we have to do is screw them up. <laughs> screw them into place. You're a mess this morning. I'm struggling this morning. This week is going to go swimmingly. So wall number one is coming together relatively quickly and I suppose that's due at least in part to the fact that I managed to get my drywall screw gun repaired. We told you guys a few videos back now that this thing was having issues. To be honest with you, I still don't know what that issue was, but I was tinkering with it this morning and it magically came together. So happy to see that. This will save us a little bit of time and keep me from pulsating on the trigger because we were using just my regular driver uh, screw gun. Still got the job done, but this is going to be really really handy to have. Jeremy's gonna keep plugging away on the drywall. Nevaeh's out in the pasture filming her own video for her YouTube channel and she just called me and told me that she didn't think Lexan was feeling well. So Lexan is my horse and he's laying in the pasture and at first I was like oh that's so cute he's laying by her but it is kind of odd behavior so I'm gonna go check it out see what's up. What's up? He was laying down Lexan and eyes were kind of shut rolling around. I don't know what's up. All right I'm gonna check on her. What's wrong? You okay? Are you resting or does your tummy hurt? Mm -hmm. Are you resting? Let's get up. Come on. Come on. That's the opposite of up. Let's get up. Get up. Oh, it's a big muddy boy. I think he's okay. <laughs> well, Luxon appears to be fine. I think Nevaeh's uh evil plan was just to get me to come out because she's been trying to wrangle Whiskey the mini horse. Like I mentioned last week, this little guy is completely feral, so I had to lasso him and then he started rearing <laughs> and I had to wrestle him for <laughs> like 20 minutes and now I'm completely exhausted. But she's got him on the lead, so hopefully she has uh, some better luck than I did. How's he doing? What's going on? I think he's okay. What? Are you okay? <laughs> No, I had to wrestle whiskey and he kicked me in the knee <laughs> and he reared on me and he slimed me. Holy cow. Maybe I needed to get him on the lead. I had to, I had to cowboy him up. Seriously though, what's going on with Lexan? Nothing. I think he was just napping. Oh. I, I went over there. He didn't want to stand up, but he's really relaxed when he's laying down. It's just like a trust thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think he was just, the sun came out and he thought he was going to lay down. It's good. His stomach's a little quiet. So I tried to give him a probiotic and he ran from me like a small child trying to take cough syrup. So lucky thing. So basically he's just relaxing outside in the sun. Yeah. We we're almost to our last piece here on the first wall and we've reached the point where we are now working in what will eventually be the kitchen area. So for this piece, I'm having to take a series of measurements, transfer them over because we have to make space for things like the clean out under the sink and the stub out for the sink drain. We also have the water lines that are popping up from down below in the floor. So we're gonna grab those measurements. I'll bring them over here and then fingers crossed as always, this works out favorably. So it turns out that my measurements weren't great I'm having to do some additional trimming. Now let's try to make it as pretty as I can. However, in this case, it really honestly doesn't matter all that much because we're going to have a bunch of cabinets up against this wall anyway. Regardless, I still want to get it as tight as possible. Do me a favor and move all this so we can bang this one out. We are going to knock out this entranceway hallway completely. We've already done the right side. Now we have to do the left side, but we're going to hold off on the utility closet because the washer and dryer are going to live in there and there could be some moisture. We do have a fan installed there, but we want to do the green board, which is like a water resistant board. So we're going to be doing that in the closet and in, <laughs> what are you doing? Moist. And in the, oh, I knew that's what you were going to do. <laughs> and in the bathroom, which also gets moist so we're gonna hold off on those because we're gonna have to actually go and get that drywall we forgot it so we're just gonna continue on with our life
kind of sad we're covering up all the J and M's. I know. <laughs> it's our custom insulation. It's about that time. Is it din din? Are you hungry? I am hungry. Is the <laughs> din din bell gonna be ringing? It's five o'clock. Do you want me to go cook you dinner? Five o'clock. Yeah. Early bird special. <laughs> Well, it's going to take me a little while to cook. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just going to do the uh, pantry, get some prep done so we can pick this up tomorrow, and then call it good for the day. All right, I'll go, uh, I'll go make you the senior citizen dinner. Thank you, Mama. After dinner, I like to take some time to check my emails, and I am definitely noticing a massive decline in all of those phishing emails and also scammers calling my phone. About six months ago, we started using an online service called Delete Me in an attempt to get some of our personal information offline, and we have been so impressed with how much information Delete Me not only found, but deleted for us. So something that I learned that I never knew before is there is something out there called data brokers that collect huge amounts of your personal identifiable information. They will use government sites, public information sites, and sadly, even your own social media. They will collect your social security number, your birthday, your past addresses, and even your own family members. Now, this is a huge problem because besides just being annoying, it puts you at risk for identity theft, which is a massive headache, but thankfully, Delete Me is so simple to use. You just sign up, they send you a welcome email, and you can get started right away. In just the last six months, Delete Me has found over 200 different data brokers between the two of us with our personal information, and their privacy experts took it from there. They've removed over 800 listings with our personal data, and the best part is they will continue to scan the web, making sure our information doesn't pop up again. We signed up under the family plan because now we can protect all of the members of our family under one convenient plan. This is particularly important if you have elderly family members because sadly, they happen to be the biggest targets of these scammers and these identity thieves. To give Delete Me a try for yourself and for those you care about, just click the link below or go to joindeleteme.com slash GSL and use our code GSL to get 20% off all consumer plans. Hello, my wife. Hello. It's so nice out. It is. It's nice and bright in here, too, huh? Yeah. Why are we in here? Big difference. Um, <laughs> we I don't should know. be playing. I ask myself that question all the time, Alyssa. <laughs> Another marathon day of getting some drywall hung here in Gabby. The addition build last night, as promised, I got that pantry wrapped up, so we're good there. And then I spent the majority of my early morning here on this beautiful day, getting some of our panels uh, cut to the proper length with all that. Really, all that's left to do is uh, get to screwing. You're actually uh, making really good progress without me here. Like, I think you work faster when I'm not around, so I might just go. No, right absolutely forces. not. Nice try. Cowboy with a tiny little horse running around is hilarious. Adorable. <laughs> it's like a tiny western. <laughs> little mini cowboy. They're never going to catch that horse. <laughs> They're trying to rope him. They don't know how. It'll keep them busy. I kind of want to go out there and play with You need some help? Come on, Bubba. Come on. Why are you so afraid of people? Well, no luck. I snuck away to try to help them, but they're using a toy lasso and it's really floppy and the round pen is uh, way too big to try to catch such a fast little horse. So Whiskey is going to be a huge project for somebody and we actually found him a great home. They're definitely up for the adventure and Whiskey is an adventure. Tiny cowboy retreats in defeat. To giving up, how'd it go out there? <laughs> uh, it went people zero, whiskey 100. Whiskey 100. 
Same is true for me. Whiskey always wins. Always. What do you think, Kira? I like it. Does it look different up here with all the drywall? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you saw it? When it was just like wood everywhere. Oh, you didn't even see insulation? No. Is it weird to think that this will be your apartment someday when you turn 18? Hey Jeremy, hey, what? what happened to your uh, drywall screw gun? <laughs> I've been hearing the pulsating of a drill up here. I only use it for the field. So for the borders, because some of this stuff I have to attack at an angle and the drywall screw gun doesn't work great for that. I've resorted back to my uh, driver. I think you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's what I think. So you may have noticed that that one front corner is still uninsulated and that is because we had all of the drywall stored here in the corner and Jeremy wasn't able to get back in that corner and put that backer piece in that we need for the exterior siding corner. So we did all of the other corners, but we weren't able to do that one. So he's still gonna have to go put that backer piece in. Then we can finally insulate the very last bay here. So what, one more piece of insulation. <laughs> So we have pretty much reached the point where we have done all the exterior walls and all of the main walls inside the kitchen and living room. We just have the bedroom, the bathroom, and the utility closet left to drywall. That's it, piece cake. And this back wall here, this little back wall. So speaking of the back wall. Back wall, we were uh, kind of looking around because we were uncertain about what our finished material was gonna be here on this back wall. And as this has taken shape, we've had some discussions and we think we wanna go with a decorative stone product of some kind, which means that we need this drywall backer Right. put up so we can facilitate that yeah we're kind of we're we're a little un indecisive i'm a little indecisive on what material to do for this accent wall it is kind of the focal point of the living room it's where the couch confirmed point. indecisive <laughs> so yes or yesterday it felt like yesterday last week we asked you guys about the ceiling whether we should do shiplap or we should do a rustic wood or we should do a pine ceiling we appreciate your input so much we decided to go with the wide plank bright shiplap so that's what will be on the ceiling so that being said what do you guys think we should do for this accent wall stone Wood, more shiplap, let us know. My eyes, my eyes, I'm staring at the ceiling. For a while, for a while, and my heart's got this feeling. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes, it must be more for seeing. And I know, and I know that everybody's dreaming. They grow, they grow like titans, or it seems it. I know, I know I must be planted for a reason. Thank you. <laughs> I brought some chocolates to celebrate. Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> this was brand new at the start of the day. Now it's half empty. We started celebrating early because we knew that we were going to reach our goal. So we did. So we finished drywalling pretty much everything that we said we wanted to get done this week. The hallway, the kitchen, the living room, the back wall, all of the big areas. So we just have the two small closets, the bedroom and the bathroom. It's so much brighter in here now. And we were going to continue on because we we're making such good progress with getting some sheets hung over in the master bedroom. Well, my lower back has been bugging me. It has been now for quite a while. Um, and I told Melissa, I didn't want to run the risk of basically injuring myself and then really pushing our schedule back. So we're going to call it quits a little early. We did get a lot done. And then uh, this hopefully will allow for me to come back in here day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because tomorrow my horse trainer is coming. So you get another day off. Good times. Yeah. So we were talking when we were doing the drywall. It has been one year this week since we started on the addition build. And I kind of thought that it would only take us a year but I miscalculated. Mm -hmm. So now our goal is to finish by Nevaeh's 18th birthday, which is the first week in August. Yeah, which I think is doable, especially with the interior. That gives us a good amount of time. Um, and then, you know, we can do all the exterior siding and stuff on a case by case basis, depending on the weather. Yeah, so it's been quite a year. I mean, it's really crazy to think that it was an entire year ago that we had the foundation poured and we were putting up the first walls and the big beam, remember the big beam? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's been quite a journey. Our entire time here really has been. We've been here for almost four years now. Yeah. And everything that we've done, all these projects, it's been so overwhelming. But now that I see some light at the end of the tunnel, it's funny to look back and really take a, a sense of pride in what it is that we've managed to pull off here. It's been so much work. 
But yeah, I'm just proud of us. Good job, Mama. High five. High five. Let me put my chocolate out. Just come on, come on, come on. Leave me hanging. Dirty hands. Enjoy that. Thank you. No. <laughs> A little bit different of a day today. Our farrier is coming out to trim up whiskey. He's never had anything like this done to him before and he needs a hoof trim before he can go to his new home. So I think we're gonna have to do some wrestling. This is gonna be an adventure. She's also gonna trim up Lexan and put just a very small ride on him because she's also a trainer and a bronc rider. So Lexan, um, when he got here, he was really shy and I was really gentle and like easing him into trusting us. And then I just kind of kept with that because he was so responsive to it. But I think what's happened is now if you're not really soft and gentle with him, he explodes because he just doesn't know what to do with that. So I haven't had any problems with him myself, but anytime somebody who isn't me tries to get on him, it's just that they're getting on him differently or they're being loud or just anything like that he will buck them off as soon as their butt hits the saddle. Obviously a problem with a family horse. He dumped Eli the other day and that was just the absolute last straw. So she's gonna get on him. And I just wanna know, is it that he's spoiled, which is what I'm thinking that he's just kind of adapted this. You need to be soft and gentle with me at all times or I'm gonna throw a tantrum. I think that's what it is, but I wanna make sure it's not pain or ill-fitting equipment or something that I'm just not seeing. So she's gonna check it out and hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Oh my gosh, I know. You are. Holy cow. <laughs> the whiskey was a workout. That little horse has got some spunk. All right, so that was really helpful. It is confirmed Luxon is a little spoiled and he's definitely sensitive to a few things that I didn't realize scared him. So we're gonna go back to basic groundwork 101, sacking him out, throwing ropes around his legs, all of the things that you would do to a colt or to a horse as you're training him. Luxon um, hasn't had a lot of that real basic groundwork and he needs it. So we're just gonna focus on that. She gave me some great tools and some great exercises to do. I'm excited to dive into this, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's not pain. I'm glad it's not something more, but it's my fault. I've just been way too easy on him and we're going to have to get tough. This week marks one year since we started the addition build. And we were just talking about how difficult it is to remember framing walls and setting joists even something substantial and horrifyingly scary, like setting that giant beam using just a two by six and a tractor. It was only 12 months ago that we were standing over another empty foundation and wondering what we were getting ourselves into yet again. And after so many hot days nailing sheeting and freezing night stuffing insulation, we are left with just a few snapshots in our mind that have brought us to this point. Memories are so funny like that. They are these tiny little flashes of time that stick for one reason or another, while everything else seemingly fades away. I've often wondered why some memories last and some don't. Why our minds decide to hold on to random little moments while completely erasing others. I do wish that we could hold on to more as the years pass, but maybe what we have is just enough. Maybe that highlight reel of our lives doesn't necessarily need to be all the big stuff. Because maybe, in the end, it's not the big stuff that really mattered at all. <laughs> 